Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Har Narayan Singh. I am the director and head of neurosurgery department. If we talk about the incidence of brain tumors, 3 to 4 persons per lakh of population may get affected by brain tumors per year. That is why it is important to know about the symptoms and how we diagnose brain tumors. First coming to the symptoms that can be associated with brain tumors. The commonest problem that we see in patients affected with brain tumors is headache. The headaches that come with brain tumors are slightly different than normal everyday headaches. The headaches with brain tumors may represent increase in pressure inside the brain and may be worse in in the morning. So this kind of headaches are called morning headaches. So when you wake up in the morning you have headaches and towards the afternoon the headaches get better the headaches may involve a part of the uh, head like the front part or the back part or they may be whole holocranial which means they involve the entire head with time over a period of days or weeks these headaches can become progressively severe they may be associated with other problems one of the commonest association is with nausea and vomiting Sometimes when these headaches become very severe you may experience episodes of nausea or vomiting and with this the headache may get better so once you vomit these headaches may improve so this kind of a headache which improves with vomiting and is more towards the first half of the day is quite classical for increase in pressure inside the brain and may be because of an underlying other symptoms that are seen in patients with brain tumors Uh, uh, they are correlated with the site of the brain uh, tumor inside the brain for example if the vision area is affected uh, the patient may experience problems with the vision seizures is a common uh, phenomena which is commonly known as epileptic fit or fits they are quite common in brain tumors there may be weakness in one side of arm or leg there may be imbalance while walking or repeated falls there may be personality changes or the patient may experience memory problems if the tumor is related to the memory areas of the brain there may be other symptoms which are not commonly seen but they should warrant uh, the clinical attention if you feel anything out of the ordinary which was not there earlier and now you are experiencing frequently you should seek medical attention now if you are experiencing these abnormal problems uh, what you should do next the first step is always to consult a specialist a doctor uh, particularly a neurosurgeon or a neurologist who is proficient in diagnosing these problems so the first step is clinical examination of the patient where the doctor will test you for the various uh, problems that you are having like weakness in the hands or legs and then he will order certain tests The commonest test that is done to diagnose a brain tumor is MRI of the brain. MRI of the brain is done with contrast to see if there is any tumor inside the brain. Other tests like CT scan they may also be done where MRI brain is not available. Sunar International Hospital in sector 53 Gurgaon is well equipped with all the latest machines to diagnose and treat brain tumors.